Hey everybody, it's been three weeks. Sorry for a little bit of a delay, but uh, it's time for another Taiji development log video. Um, I'm Matthew Van Diemender, and Taiji is a open world adventure puzzle solving type game that takes a lot of inspiration from The Witness. If that type of thing sounds interesting to you, there's a link in the description to find out more. Um, I'm doing this a little bit off the cuff today just because I'm trying to save some time, but I suppose I can extemporize a little bit about what I've been doing, and uh, also I thought it might be fun to just like run around the game a little bit, and maybe talk about some of the things that I've been doing. Um, I don't necessarily want to, I guess, show too much, but you know there will be a little bit of a spoiler warning before I do that, just because it's, it's, it's spoilers to run around. But I thought it might be fun. So in any case, uh, I've been working on stuff for the ending, which I can't really talk about. Um, so obviously that is spoilers, <laughs> uh, but that stuff's getting put in there. Uh, and I've just been doing like puzzle design stuff and environment improvements and things like that. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess we'll get to it then. <laughs> uh, I guess there's a little bit of a spoiler wall here because I will just be running around. So if you if you don't want to see much of the world, uh, then I guess you can. Uh, you can drop off here. Okay, so, um, what have I done? Actually, I even made some changes here. I changed some of these little icons. Let me turn this down so this is not too loud. Um, yeah, oh, I don't have, I just realized I do not have the syncing on, which is probably going to cause the recording to be a little stuttery, so I should do that. So, yeah, so I've been doing, like, little things, like, there's this little path that goes here. So, like, it was always a problem. People thought you could walk down there, so I've tweaked that a lot visually to try to, <laughs> try to clear up that stuff. Um, so I've done that kind of stuff. Um, this puzzle's new. I replaced an earlier puzzle that's there. These puzzles are new. Um, they sort of elaborate some things. Um, I tweaked some, like, details around here. I don't know exactly when I put this mountain path here, but um, this puzzle is also kind of new. I mean, it's not exactly new. There's still no clipping. Um, there we go. Uh, it's not exactly new because uh, it's sort of a, a version of what used to be in that gate, and so that's kind of gotten moved now. Is there anything else that's like jumping out to me as changes that I've made. Um, I did some like tweaks here to where this cliff edge looks a little more readable. Um, yeah, just lots of tiny little tweaks, minor stuff, adjusting things like to make stuff look nicer or be more readable. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It, it's a, it's a, it's starting to come together, I guess. There's less stuff that needs to be done, but um, the stuff that I do is more like minor things. Um, I actually tweaked these gates slightly because they were. The main problem is like when you. Um, I can't cheat puzzles open. Um, well, whatever. When you uh, when the gates open, it was like a little bit hard to see sometimes. So I, I mostly tweaked that. These puzzles are new. Um, and uh, I also kind of tweaked some other things in this area a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, there's uh, these puzzles I think are new also. Um, that's just a tutorial to do these particles. I guess this is relatively spoiler light, but um, I tweaked the way that the color grading is done for the game, which ideally uh, if I'd done my job there, then there's no noticeable difference between this and the last time you saw the game. But uh, it's done differently. Um, mostly because previously I was doing color grading on like the whole final target buffer. So like if the game's running at 4K, which I think it is right now, um, if the game's running at 4K, then it would be tone mapping or, or, or color correcting the 4K image, and there's really no reason to do that because the game renders at a much much smaller resolution. Um, but the issue was that the way that I was doing the color correction before uh, would also 
take out the um, HDR information. So for things that like glow, like our little fairy here, um, they wouldn't glow anymore because they get clamped to maximum like brightness of one. So, so I had to change the way that it was done so that the HDR stuff would stay intact. Oh, I also like changed this little ledge here to kind of similar thing where I'm trying to just trying to make it a little bit a little bit more readable. I still think I could probably do better here, like lighten up this edge so that it's more clearly above this. Because like value it's really hard with this type of game and the perspective to try to get that right, but the the value of things is often how a player like judges you know, if they don't have, like, strong information, that's like, okay, that's... Yeah, I mean, it, it's just it's just harder to judge things if the, if the value of the closer thing is darker. So, I can't fix everything, but I, I try to fix as many things as I can. I guess I tweaked that over here. So here you can see I actually did tweak this to be, like, a lighter thing. Of course, there's a shadow here as well, but it just makes that stuff a little more readable. I don't know. I don't want to necessarily laundry list everything that I've tweaked, but uh, it's been a lot of little minor tweaking and improving things and stuff, so. Anyway, this gate's probably closed because I probably cheated through it. This looks like it's gotten moved slightly from that edge. Anyway, there's things like that that happen sometimes or just minor tweaks that I want to do, but. I would say that we're getting close. Um, the ending related stuff that I have to do is kind of not entirely minor. It's uh, pretty significant, so I'm not sure how long it will take. But um, what I will say is that uh, I need to do a trailer, <laughs> and I had. I haven't taken the time out to do it because I think it's really difficult to like to nail down a date because there are all these little things that I want to fix. Um, luckily, there's less of them than there was a month and a half ago or so. There's a lot less bugs and little things that need to be tweaked, but there's still some things, and that makes it hard for me to like feel comfortable about, about a date, and until I feel comfortable about a date, I don't really feel comfortable about spending time on the trailer, because the trailer's going to get delayed by however long it takes until I feel comfortable about a date anyway. Um, but we are getting very close, um, and I guess you'll know when I know on, on that front, but there's part of me that kind of wants to just finish the whole game and then do the trailer, rather than like announce a date ahead of time with the game not done and then yeah I don't know <laughs> but at the same time I'm kind of kind of starting to be at the limit of what I can afford to do um, which kind of puts a puts a deadline on things that's like well that's when you'll run out of money so if you're, if you're gonna announce a date maybe you should go ahead and do it I don't know I'm rambling but in any case <laughs> Hopefully you've had fun poking around, and maybe I pointed out a couple things. There were there's a lot more things that uh, I saw that I've changed, but some of these things are stuff that is like very mega spoilers, so I don't really want to say anything about them. But in any case, thanks everybody for joining, and I guess I'll see you all uh, in another two or three weeks um, if the game's not done by then. I don't think it'll be that soon, but in any case. Have a good one, everybody.